so frank what do you oh think i love it i love you yeah. singing granada and he he holds that law lo- that one long note before the actual song being longer than any tenor i've ever heard <laughs> he's, he's def- <laughs> good trait a good trait <laughs> for a he was called actually the uh, soviet sinatra so exactly he was so p- popular in the soviet been, union yeah, yeah. yeah. soviet it's sinatra it's a good yeah. voice yeah. sold out concerts yeah, yeah. truly king, king of songs that's right studied in italy i think la scala the the form yeah. they were yeah. visiting yeah. artists yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. very good his his grandfather was one of the founders of azerbaijani opera ah, okay. his name was also muslim magamai now you have a, a national opera company in azerbaijan exactly yeah. we have a, a huge opera and ballet theater and they have a big day they, they have all kinds of plays operas ballets and the very, very big cultural sense. Remarkable. Exactly. That's great. Remarkable. Great, great. Shall we move to 21st Let's century move. now? Yeah. All right. So here is the piece composed by Frangis Alizade. She is still alive. Well, yes. she's very much alive. She's not still alive. She's very much mm-hmm. alive. And she's an Azerbaijani composer. She's a woman. Yes. And uh, uh, Kronos Quartet, the famous Kronos Quartet from the United States, actually uh, commissioned her to compose a number of pieces, and they released a CD with her uh, music. She's remarkably known worldwide, guys, and this is a truly sophisticated music that's very much based on the Azerbaijani folk music as well. So we're going to hear right now, that was called Absharon Quintet, and uh, she calls this movement tactile time. It's a Kronos quartet plus one instrument. It's actually a quintet. And uh, please listen for it. You will hear what Azerbaijani musicians are doing now, nowadays. This is an amazing piece of music. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, look, it sounds like folk it instruments, right? Like but it's performed it's on the violin, a standard it's kind of wonderful. instruments, isn't it's it? It's wonderful. You, can, you get the color of the country. Absolutely. It's and the and flavor of the culture, And yet it's so, culture, right? so utterly contemporary. Yep. Um, marvelous. But what I would like to make one mention before we get, we'll go on with Nasimi here. We are... Uh, performing oh yeah we next are. week oh uh, yeah. Ruslan and I uh, with the San Bernardino Symphony yep. at uh, the California Theater in the famous San Bernardino guys right and yeah. uh, that's on May 28th at 7:30 p.m. Ruslan will be playing the Tchaikovsky Rococo Variations and the David Popper Hungarian Rhapsody and the Hungarian Rhapsody probably probably will be in the in the in the golden jacket right Oh, a golden yeah. jacket. I forgot about that jacket. Uh, yeah. We'll get out the polish and, yeah. uh, you know, we'll get that jacket <laughs> brighter <laughs> than ever. And we're also doing Dvorak's Eighth Symphony. So uh, go to the uh, the website for San Bernardino Symphony, uh, dot org, I believe. Is that right? Or yes. just Google San, San Bernardino. Bernardino Symphony. Yeah. Dot org. Or just Google Frank Feta or, or Ruslan Birka. Really easy to find. Yeah. So yeah. we hope we see you in San Bernardino <coughs> on May 28th. It's a big show, 75 piece orchestra on the that's stage, right. 2000 right. seat hall. Beautiful hall. Yeah. Beautiful. So come, it's truly beautiful. So hopefully we'll be doing some Azerbaijani music here in the future. Absolutely. Wouldn't it be amazing? Because I really, the symphonic stuff is really very exciting. And speaking of symphonic stuff, the famous composer Kara Karayev. Ah, yes. Yeah. Uh, Next week, guys, you will hear his symphony, his actually suite, orchestral suite called Don Quixote. And everyone knows who Don Quixote Quixote is, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Don Quixote. Don Quixote, yeah. Yeah. And uh, we have a little excerpt for you from. Actually, his different suite called Seven Beauties, if Richard can play for us track number 11. Ballet. Uh, Yep, that's his ballet. But you guys will hear his suite, Don Quixote, and it's in Titan next week.
we on? Are we on? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Believe it or not. Oh, we have beautiful background music <laughs> of this ballet suite from Seven Beauties. Well, as you know, we're on the air here at LA Talk Live with Nasimi Agayev, who is the Consul General of Azerbaijan. And that's what we just heard was waltz yes. from the ballet Seven Se Beauties Seven by Beauties, exactly. Karaka Se Rai. Seven Beauties, actually, it's a... It's a emblematic of Azerbaijan's multiculturalism. It's yes. a story of seven beauties from different uh, cultures, countries. Ah, okay. So it's also based on the, on the uh, same name poem by Nizami Ganjavi. Mm -hmm. uh, and by the way, we brought this ballet to San Diego uh, last uh, two years ago. Again, like m over 3,000 people came at the Civic Theater in San Diego and watched this ballet for the first time in the United States. So we try to bring as much culture and music from Azerbaijan to here so that people can have a, a, a bit more knowledge about this country. It's because the art and culture is the one of the best ways to get to know other countries, absolutely, other, absolutely. other people, mm -hmm. and building bridges. Absolutely. That's what we are striving to absolutely. do. Well, Remarkable. we certainly have a charming, a charming consul general who can make his case uh, with his own personal... Uh, Frank, do you want to go to Azerbaijan now? <laughs> I, I do. <laughs> this I is do. the well, moment. I do. And this you know, one the of moment. the things that is drawing me to uh, Azerbaijan, not only this wonderful gentleman, <laughs> and we have mutual friends, interestingly enough, which we exactly. found out this morning, mm. exactly. but this beautiful, beautiful series of buildings, would you tell us about, uh, do you call them the Flame Towers? Flame Towers, yeah, Land of Flame uh, yeah, Towers. Yeah, yeah. Flame I, Towers. I hope that some people can see this. And or just, uh, you know, ju you guys just can Google the word Baku. Yeah, this is That's truly this. emblematic of, of, exactly. of... I've not it's seen anything... I mean, they look like little jewels. They almost look like they're in the breeze, but the, the color exactly. and the size of them and the, and the symmetry... Uh, These are the, the, the uh, tallest tallest towers in the entire region. So they are wonderful, so wonderful. Both wonderful modern buildings. architecture and medieval and architecture. And how, how they contrast... In this the picture, wa waterfront, it's yes. unbelievable. So I think so it's some place to really consider to go. Come to yes, come to Azerbaijan. It's modern, diverse, ancient culture and music. So people will is enjoy it. Is it expensive? It. It's not that expensive. Uh, we are now uh, developing tourism. Mm -hmm. We've, we try to attract uh, as many tourists as possible. So yeah, I know that it's you guys. It's, w it's worth just build the ski resorts as well, right? Two of them. Two, two, ski yeah, I two of them. Picture, yes. Well, I saw the picture <laughs> somewhere Remarkable. else. I'm not sure if I saw it here. But what uh, what would you want us to get out to the public to take from this wonderful meeting that we've had with you today about the importance of uh, Azerbaijan in the world scene and also here in the United States, how can we become more familiar with Azerbaijan here yeah. in the United States? Um, so Azerbaijan is a friend of the United States. Uh, we are strategic partners with the United States. It's an important ally there in that important region with an ancient history, culture, music, so a lot to offer mm -hmm. to the world with a multicultural model, multi-faith harmony. And you know, actually, yes, the, the our consulate here is in Los Angeles, where our doors are open. Whenever you want, call us, email us, contact us. We'll be always happy to help uh, in as much as possible. And yes, come to Azerbaijan. That's the, uh, the, the, the biggest message. Come to Azerbaijan and see that with your own eyes. Now, another thing I would ask, and I think it's important uh, from the standpoint of the music, uh, is it relatively easy to get a hold of Azerbaijani music both in stores, not there aren't That's too many stores. That's a good question, yes. you know, Frank. How That's do you do I'm this? So, yes. yeah. so, so now you've got uh, a lot of Azerbaijani folk music, classical mm -hmm. music on iTunes. You've got, of course, uh, YouTube is full of mm -hmm. uh, 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 Azerbaijani music examples, samples. So it's um, you, you, it's now much much easier than it used to be, like 20 right. years ago. Right. Yeah. Of course, thanks and to internet. And to bring it closer to home, since you did the uh, the ballet, the Seven Beauties in San Diego and the cloth peddler here in Los Angeles. Are are there visual representations of that that are uh, exactly. people are able to tune into websites where exactly. they can on actually see those? Yes, on our channel uh, on YouTube, oh, which good. is okay. AZ Consulate L A. Great. Uh, uh, you, you can you can see that the uh, portions of those mm -hmm. uh, oper op operetta, Claus Peddler, and Seven Beauties. Good. Remarkable. Good. Good. Remarkable. 
Well, well Frank, here we are at the yeah. end of this hour. Thank you, thank you so yeah. much. And, and, and an hour wasn't enough, you. we yeah. feel, right? I know, there's a lot yeah. to talk about. It's an Way ancient culture, it's a modern culture, it's a culture it's a that is culture. very vibrant, and it's also, more importantly, in my thinking, a culture that we should look to for the harmony that we're all looking for. Exactly. That's correct. <laughs> yes. So we, we look toward you, Azerbaijan and Nasimi. Thank and you for uh, coming. We, we hope you we will much. see you sometimes again. again. And we'll Actually. see you soon again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. And here we are at the end of our hour. We are the Cool Classics. The I cool think. Classics. Boy, is yeah. that is Frank? That are you still Frank? Frankie? I'm still Frank, <laughs> and, and I'm still Ruslan. <laughs> and we are Cool Classics on LA Talk Live. Listen to our broadcast next week, and we'll see you back live in two weeks at LATalkLive.com. Thank, Thank you, you for listening Thank and you. watching. <laughs>